Hello everyone. I'm going to be honest with you. A video of approximately two minutes is not nearly enough time to sum up what John von Neumann meant to the scientific world and to our society at large. He was a brilliant mathematician, physicist and engineer, and his list of accomplishments in all of those fields is very long indeed. He established game theory, for instance, and built the foundations of quantum mechanics. I would even go so far as to say that von Neumann might have been a greater genius than Albert Einstein. He wasn't the only brilliant mind that Hungary brought forth during that time. Von Neumann belonged to a group of influential scientists known as the Martians. A joke by one of their members, physicist Leo Zillard, who once said that intelligent alien life is already among us. They just call themselves Hungarians. Abraham Flexner, the founding father of the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, the United States, wanted to acquire some of this intelligent life, including John von Neumann, for his institute. A place where the greatest academic stars could ponder deep problems undisturbed, as far away as possible from everyday issues and practical applications. A place where you could go on an unhindered pursuit of knowledge, an academic paradise, where countless discoveries were made and I had the privilege to call home for several years. To walk the halls where von Neumann once could be found, to be in the same environment that inspired him all those years ago. It was there at the Institute that von Neumann and his team designed, built and programmed an electronical digital computer, ultimately laying down the internal infrastructure for our modern day computing devices. In fact, the building in which von Neumann developed that first modern computer, using the famous von Neumann architecture, now houses the Institute's nursery school. I always thought to be very fitting, since it's the place where computing also took its very first steps. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, around two minutes is simply not enough time to list all of von Neumann's accomplishments, to really capture what he meant for the scientific world. Thankfully, all of you have more time to reflect on his legacy today. And you not only get to look back, but also look ahead at all the technological innovations we currently have and what is to follow in the future. Looking at all those technological marvels building forth on von Neumann's work, we now need a GPS for the digital world more than ever. So please keep doing your important work and I hope you all have a wonderful and inspiring symposium.